Okay, so big open back area. Nice man, that breeze is great. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we've got. Okay, we can put a stove there, refrigerator there. The living room is small, but we should be able to fit everybody in here. Okay, one bathroom. I think this is the bigger bedroom and it's got shelving there. Another nice bedroom here with that back wall. Shelving in there. And then this all opens up out to here so that the dogs. Oh, this separates. Okay. So this whole thing right here from here to here would lock off too. So the alley is now full of our extra stuff and my tools and stuff like that. We have chairs, stuff for our laundry. The view is still just as pretty. This is where we hang our laundry because we don't have a dryer. That's my little workshop area that's always a mess got a deep freeze sink laundry machine the grill some more outdoor furniture my wife has been doing a whole lot of gardening so right now we have little little seeds popping up some tomatoes we get our bananas from those trees right there We come around this is my son's punching bag we got more flowers we added a uh, astroturf to this whole section mostly for the dogs and that's the new little garden area little raised garden bed we have some bikes more plants <laughs> my son's workout equipment and then over here, the rabbit, little table. We come in through here to the living room. We use uh, little magnetic screens to keep the mosquitoes out. There's not that many, but it works really, really good. And this is our living room, guys. A few pictures and big old sofa I'm going to come around over here to the kitchen huh, five o'clock okay so we got spices all the spices you could want we added an extra cabinet down here uh, this is some food for church tomorrow we bought a refrigerator which works really, really good. That's where uh, Toy keeps all our Instapots and stuff like that. We bought Captain Crunch for Aaliyah. Um, cabinets, I built a few cabinets to hide like the microwave and stuff like that and for the towels. And then over here, I built those 
to hold all of our other extra stuff repainted these cabinets and then we got a stove some mats and a picture the floors here are all tile and we have a little I guess I think it's Effie or Oofy we call her Thelma and she is amazing she keeps the floors amazing this is our bathroom and as you can tell we've added some space over uh, the toilet there I put some shelving in here mirror a few little things like that and then of course the shower added the thing in the corner a couple things I was going to touch on as you see here in the shower you'll see the wiring going in there's a heater inside the shower head it's nicknamed a suicide shower uh, and it's like I said that's just all they use here so basically when the water comes on it comes through the heating element it runs over that with the water and heats it up and as it comes out it's kind of well it's warmer I, I wouldn't call it warm I, it's it's warm it's just not hot it's not as hot as what you probably have back in the states but at the same token we don't have a hot water heater that's constantly running electricity one other thing to know about whenever you're in Costa Rica and you go to use the bathroom there will always be a trash can beside you that's for the toilet paper um, the septics in Costa Rica are not set up for toilet paper they'll get jammed up so the toilet paper goes in the trash all right back out of here this is my son's room he's got his LED lights set up his bed fan all of his stuff here and his gaming stuff is Xbox I can't really say his I play some too so <laughs> over here is my daughter's room it's all set and ready for her. we put some pictures up clothes blankets things like that we get a really good breeze in the valley through the window I built uh, some screens over here so that way you don't get any bugs in at night and then I just got through adding a little Roku TV up there put in some shelves it is all ready for her. and now go into our bedroom and because of where we live we don't need AC we don't need heat a uh, fan is more than enough so that's what we have more than anything else is our fans but big old keen size bed some pictures this is all that's toy stuff there and then some of mine basically all I wear is t-shirts shorts and sandals except on Sunday at church and then I wear pants um, we splurge the other day we got a new TV so Chrome a Chrome TV or Android TV we really like it and I built these shelves here let me back up a little bit built the shelves here so that way we can store our clothing and stuff like that okay so that's our house um, cost us about three hundred and forty dollars a month and we absolutely love it I mean having a nice place to live is of course important but having a nice place oh hi hello hi okay no you sit down okay you are a personal space invader yeah say hi okay mouth down down see she's looking at me right now she's looking at me in defiance down come on go She really is a good dog, but her her name is Mal, and it was short for a character off Firefly. I did not realize while I lived in the States that the term Mal in Spanish meant bad. So whenever I say, you know, my dog, or that Mal is a good dog, 
It sounds like I'm saying bad is a good dog. Anyway, so back to what I was talking about. You know, it's important to have a nice place, you know, a comfortable place to live. But it's even more important to have good landlords. And we were so blessed. Uh, some uh, Tico friend found this place for us. And the family that owns this place, uh, they're the best. They're just amazing. So we found a nice little comfortable spot and have no plans on moving anytime soon. So anyway, this is our house. It's considered a Costa Rican style house. If you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments and I'll get right on it. Take care, guys. Talk to you later. Uh, right now, we're about ready to jump in a taxi and go get our daughter.